Pears are harvested when they reach their perfect point of ripeness in the months of February and March in Southern Africa. The fruit is packed into bins and transported to the canning factory by road, immediately after being picked. The fresh pears are washed to remove any leaves or dirt from the farm and are sorted into groups of different sizes as they pass along the sorting machine. They are checked for quality and whisked off to the next phase. Random samples are selected from each batch and a pressure test is done. This pressure test determines the hardness of the flesh of the fruit, which in turn determines maturity and ripeness. Pears that are at the perfect stage of ripeness for canning have a flesh hardness of about 5 kilograms. The pallets are moved to the start of the canning line. Hydraulic machines are able to lift the enormous weight of each filled crate constantly for 24 hours a day during the canning season. The amount of pears that are fed into the factory is carefully controlled to match the production inside the factory. If too much fruit is going in, a blockage could result, and too little fruit will cause machinery and staff to stand idle, and the cost of production will become more expensive. As the pears enter the factory, they are hand-fed into the peeling machine. This is a fascinating process accomplishing three different functions in one operation. First, the pear is cored as it slides onto the shaft. Then it's peeled. Sensors control the blades to remove just the skin so that none of the flesh is wasted. And finally, blades move into position to cut the pear in half as it's ejected. This is an amazing display of man's technological skills. To be able to think up and design machines that are so efficient and have to operate almost non-stop for two months during the pear canning season is quite astounding. The pears pass to the cleaning and sorting lines where any imperfections are cleaned away. Each half pear is washed before being put into the cans by hand. This section of production is quite labor intensive. It's the most efficient way to work as can sizes can be changed quickly without having to set up new machine parameters. This example of man's interaction with the machine in production highlights the value of human flexibility, which is vital at some point on most production lines. A sweetened pear syrup is added to each can before they move along to the seaming machines. Within the seaming machines, the lids will be fitted to the cans. Each can is thoroughly sterilized using steam before the lid is fitted. This is attached to the tin to create an airtight joint. The cans are fed into large pressure cookers where steam is used to cook the fruit within the can. This kills all bacteria inside the can and gives the pears a very long shelf life inside the tin. The cans are stacked and stored until there's a demand from the shops and then they're labelled and sent out into the marketplace. There are many fantastic pear dishes to prepare, with canned pears being readily available to us throughout the year. This is made possible by the design and creation of some astounding techniques and machinery used to can this wonderful fruit.